Hello and welcome to a First Impressions video on FIM Speedway Grand Prix 15. The game was just released on Steam, so I thought I'd take everybody on a quick tour of what's going on with the game. 25 bucks. It's supposed to be out on Xbox One and PS4, although I haven't seen it out yet. So everything is pretty self-explanatory I am using an Xbox one controller you can play a full season as one of the featured if I am writers you can run a single heat which is just one round of you know four I call it four heats for one round but basically there's four riders on the track if you're not familiar with Speedway and you start in each of the four positions and gain points that way. You can do a whole event where you go through several different heats, a semi and a main if you can make it that far. There is training where you have to run through, once again, a full set of heats to progress to the next track. Here's your handling mode, arcade and simulation. Arcade just basically takes care of weight transfer for you and it also takes care of uh, let's uh, the clutch off the line simulation mode once again it's just the opposite you have to use weight transfer to get the bike to hook up and you use the clutch off the line nothing amazing there let's take a look at game options real quick We've got standard music sound effects speech volume uh, when I've been playing this so far I haven't been able to hear my bike real well I hear everybody else's bike real good but my bike I can't hear um, I am running 5.1 surround sound and there is no option for me to at least just turn it to stereo so I can just hear my bike uh, over everybody else's it's kind of disappointing here you can enable hints. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just helps you out if you get uh, if you're kind of sitting there. It'll say, "Hey, you know, press the gas. Press the gas. Twist the throttle. Whatever. Momentary brain lapse there. Uh, it shows you the videos of the real FIM stars, and that's pretty self-explanatory. There, go over a video." It just has a few options, nothing uh, amazing. I always hate motion blur, so I take that off. Uh, usually, um, what I'm running isn't a super great PC, so I usually take anti-aliasing off, or usually have it on low. Film grain effect, that must be for the videos. Envy inclusion, I rarely have on. Um, even at this setting, usually, at the setting that I would think this is capable of, uh, my PC will run probably about 80 to 90 frames a second. This one seems a bit more intensive. I'm barely at about 70. And now we go to controls. I'm using a gamepad, or you can click over to a mouse and keyboard. I had to turn the look sensitivity all the way up. I don't know if that really did anything. I'm assuming that's basically your steering. Um, I had to take out some dead zone. I left the vibration off in here. You can just go to controller settings with X there. And you can really only change a couple of things. You can use the, the clutch can be mapped to the left button if you want, or bumper. And then if you want to lean on the bike without the analog stick, you can change it to buttons. Um, I was terrible with the simulation setting. So I put it on an arcade. Alright, let's jump into a season. Now, I've already put about three... Three hours into the game. Um, we're going to do new game. Yes, I know. Because I've already completed it. We're going to start on medium. 
And this is the only American guy in there, so we'll run him, of course, and he's from California. Where you can configure your motorbike. Uh, these are 500cc single piston two strokes. Ridiculous amount of power. It's basically just like strapping a, a motor in between your legs with a couple wheels. So various things you go into your engines. You can buy you can buy a different engine, and these all require repair, depending on what you have, what kind of abuse you have put it through. Clutch, tires, frames. So you need a lighter weight frame, engine oil. So what I did last round was I bought engine oil. Engine oil will last you one whole event. Um, it helps prevent wear and tear on the engine itself. Now we'll go to tires. You can only carry four tires with you. They have the standard tires as well. But if you do like this and decide to get the nice tires, you typically will use, if you're sparingly, two to three tires in an event if you run all the races. Um, so I just go ahead and buy all four just because I want I want some grip and then let's go to clutch and let's just blow our money on a clutch that sounds good because I think the engine yeah next engine up is a thousand so we won't do that back out and we'll go race the first event you could practice if you want to I'm not going to we're gonna start this game suffers from uh, not even when you have the hints on it doesn't really tell you how to drive uh, you have to go into the controls and look at you know what to change your view uh, there's only two behind the bike or a first-person view And so we're going to run our first heat race. Remember, we're trying to score points. And this is very interesting. Depending on what heat you're up in, you can see up at the top right-hand corner, it tells you where the best grip for the track is. So you can see the green about halfway, maybe a third of the way up. Uh, it starts to get real grippy. The rest of the track is what we would call standard. And the whole idea is to get this thing to spin the tire enough to go through the turn. These bikes do not have any brakes. You are specifically using the throttle to get you through the turn and then weight transfer. I've got it on arcade. The girls look like it's zombies in this game. It's kind of funny. Um, but anyway, you're using weight transfer and the throttle to get the bike to hook up accordingly. At very first, you can angle your rider, and then they roll up to the line. Now you wait, you can give it some gas, and on arcade mode, you start squeezing, and it's very hard to get a good start to start with these guys. You really have to time it right, and it's... Oh, I just knocked that guy off. I'm surprised it didn't call me for it. Usually, you for it if you knock the guy over. So when that happens, you're going to have to restart the race. Once again, we'll just angle in a little bit. We're going to pick the RPMs up. You can't press the trigger on the clutch before the gate ribbons come up. Otherwise, you'll run into it. So that's what makes a really hard time. So you usually get a pretty crappy start. And the idea is to keep it in the slide. A little correct to the right. Oh, see, I lost the vibration of the controller. That means I lost the hookup in the track gonna slide underneath this guy now we're in the good part of the track I can feel the controller vibrating which means you've got good grip help oh, lost grip there's some more grip right there so we want to be just there's like a slight light line Oop, tag the fence uh, in the turn that's where we want to be it's gonna grab the most grip and you've got a plan for the turn the bike has some weight to it, and that's mainly because of the traction that these bikes can get. So you just leave your leave your finger on the trigger, let the tire spin, and try to angle for the best possible traction on the track. 
Uh, it's pretty interesting. All the tracks seem to have a little different line, and they change throughout the night. Uh, it appears initially when they show you the, the screen. We're going to skip to our next heat. That, now oh, it's all kind of the same. You know, now you can see the bottom of the track has lost some grip. The middle... Uh, to high on the straightaway is normal, and then once again on, you know, we're going to say about a third of the way up gets you 30% uh, more grip than the rest of the track. Uh, you can see we've used up our engine a little bit and our clutch a little bit, uh, chassis a little bit from hitting the wall and probably hitting that other rider, tires down 84%, but we can probably skate by into the race with it, so we're going to go ahead and run. And now I'm going to start in blue. You get colored uh, jerseys and helmets. They put these socks over their helmets so that you know where they started. Uh, what position they started in the at the beginning of the heat. There are always four laps. Let's see if we can... Oh! See, and that's what you do. It's really hard to time. I mean, I barely pulled the clutch just a hair. And it wasn't very nice to me. I just blew the start. Let's try it again. Well, not again. We're on to the next race because I fouled out of that one. The idea is to rotate you through a bunch of different heats to get you with a bunch of different riders. And then points are added up and divide you into groups at the end. I probably should have angled that a little bit. Ah, uh, that wasn't a half bad start. Oh, but it went across. Yep. Went across the track. See what I mean? I should have. That's my bad. I should have just angled out. And, uh. I wouldn't have had that problem. Let's try this again. We're starting in the white. Starting. We'll just angle just a hair. Once again, bring the RPMs up. Barely push the trigger and... Yeah, mediocre start. Every once in a while, you can time it where you can actually take off and leave these guys. Now, I just spun the tire out there. That There's nothing right now out here. So I've got to get low. There's the grip right there. Got to get low. Oh, nothing out there. You can see I'm not going anywhere. Here we go. There's the bite controller shakes when you get the bike and the more violently it shakes the better bite you're getting I don't know that it's dynamic oh got it I don't know that it's dynamic throughout your four lap race but it definitely just changed throughout the night and after every round of heats uh, they grade the track too so that changes it as well oh too much Ideally, this is a fairly short track. Ideally, you don't want to try to sling the bike too much unless you're trying to slow it down. Alright, so that gives us another three points, which puts us in seventh now. We're going to skip to our next heat. And you can see we've, still, we've got some wear going on. Our tire's down to 69%, so we're going to now switch to our a new tire. And we're going to start race again. If I get out front, if I can remember, I'll see if I can switch to the first-person vantage point. It's, uh, angle out just a hair here. It's pretty interesting. Ah, ah not bad, actually. Oh, but I couldn't... Oh, yep, see? They snagged me. I didn't get the thing set, and that's... With that new tire, I had a lot of grip. I was really in the good part of the track, and it didn't want to take... I didn't initiate soon enough that it would take a good set and get that tire spinning. So what I'm going to do this time is... We're in the semifinals. And we need to... Ooh, I barely made it in. We need to finish in the top two... Yes? Oh no, I didn't make it. Ha! Nope, didn't make it at all. 
So now you get some money. It shows you the next track that's up. I'll show you guys one more track here. We're going to go back to configure the motorcycle. We're going to go to engine. Hit Y for repair. Hold the left stick. You can see a monetary value at the right that it's uh, is assigned to it. And then you just OK it with the A button. Clutch. Not too bad on our clutch. Check out our frame. Not too bad on our frame. And then, like I said, stop it. Uh, engine oil. You might as well just get the most expensive one if you can afford it because it just helps the wear and tear. You don't need to buy more. You can buy it after every round. Go down to tires. You can see uh, if that tire that I currently had on the bike was down, let's say, in the 70% range, you can hit X to replace that tire so it, gets, it opens up one more of your spare slots to put a new tire in. But I don't need that. It's 98%, so we're going to do... We're just going to buy a new tire. That puts us back up to four. We've got 897 credits left. Is there anything we can get? Next engine is a thousand. How about frame? Frame, frame, frame. We can go clear up there. Yeah, we're, we're going to do that. Get some weight on our side. Doesn't protect the parts of the bike apparently as much. So if you start slamming around or fall down, it will damage your, you know, your bike more. Let's go ahead and start the event. And let's see if I can remember in this first race to change the first person view. This track is a little bigger, uh, if I remember correctly. We're going to start in the white position. All right, we're going to angle over just a hair. Here's your first person view. I'm not, I don't usually run this view. looks over at the tape uh, actually that was not a half bad start I'll oh, get it in over the line oh oof, I'm surprised it didn't holy cow look out I did not initiate I had to blip the throttle to get that thing set back underneath find the grip where's my grip not oh right there right there oh took a bite Oh, Jesus. That was wrong. Oh, yep. Oh, I think I took somebody out. Oops. So, we're gonna restart that heat. I think that was me. Uh, we're just gonna leave it here. We'll try it one more time. Long straightaways and narrow turns really makes it hard to initiate correctly. Oh, I was sleeping and talking. Good job, stupid. All right. There's a little bite out there. A little bite there. Nothing down the straightaway right here where I'm at. Oh, too early. Too early. And then you do this, and then it does that, and oh, Jesus. Okay. Get back into the swing of it here. There we go. There's grip. Uh, get that thing to initiate. Air's grip. Oh, come back. Two to go. There's grip. I can feel it around the outside. Come on. Ah, we're running out of gear down the straightaway. Ah, there's nothing down there. There's nothing. I'm surprised I got by him. He must have been in no man's land, too. See, look at that guy. Oh, there's the grip. Follow his line. Ah, uh, nope, didn't get any grip till off the turn. Whew, that's difficult in that view. And this track's not easy either, because the straightaways are so long and the turns are so tight. you got to really watch how you initiate. And we, we burned up our tire pretty good, so we're going to swap a tire out. Back up. And as you can see, when the track is freshly graded, so we've gone through the cycle of the first four heats, they've regraded the track, and now the track is pretty even all the way across, so when it's like that, you typically want to stay close to the bottom of the track. We're going to start in the yellow position. It's typically my favorite position. Get out of that view. 
I just know I'll take somebody out again. Okay. Pulling the clutch just a hair. Ah. So hard. Oh, they're bouncing. Oh! I'm surprised they didn't call that one on, on me. Even though it wasn't my fault. Sometimes it will. Try this again. I like how he is. Grin USA. On the back of his leathers. That was a hair better. Around the outside. There's nothing out here. I can't feel any. There we go. There's some traction. Down low. Yeah. That's where the good. Oh, there's nothing in the center off. Interesting. So maybe. Oh, nope, there's nothing here either. Where's the traction? Right there. That's not in the turn. There we go. There's traction coming off the turn. There we go. This track is probably, I don't know, what, close to a quarter mile, maybe a little over? These guys are crazy. They're awesome to watch. There we go. There's, there's some grip. The track did change. And you do have to right yourself when you're coming out of the turn because it will want to keep slide, you know, the back end will keep wanting to come around. So you just give it a quick flick of the stick to the right and it stands him back up. I'm, I'm surprised we got that. All right. Um, I'm going to take a chance with the tire and leave it. Let's change our gear ratio. We're running out of gear here. Let's also... Pump up the tire pressure. It's cause a little more wear. The more RPM you let the the engine have, and the more torque, you know, the more you adjust that clutch, the more wear you can possibly have on your bike. All right, I'm gonna leave this straight. See how this goes. Ah, late. It was late off the line. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that worked. Oh, I thought I was going to run into him. Oh, Jesus. Nothing there. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> I'm leaning on him. I couldn't get the guy to stand back up. There's traction. Oh. Oh, God. Snaking down the straightaway now. Oh, I killed it coming off the turn. <laughs> oh, threw him a slider off the turn. I was going to feed him a wheel if he didn't back off. There, there's a good part. Nope, not there off the turn. You can see how he pulled back up on me because I was spinning it. Yep. There's good. That's good right there. Got one lap to go to hold together. Oh, he drives it in. See if we can keep it in the good stuff all the way through the turn. That actually turned out pretty good. All right. Cool. That bumps us up to the top of the chart. Skip to our next heat. And we're going to change the tire. Replace. Back out. And away we go. So as you can see, the track has now been worn in since the grading's been done. High seems to be the spot to be. Don't go low. So overall, it's it's not a bad game. I, I'm kind of in the middle. I'm happy that there's a game like this made. It's such a niche market. Niche. I'm talking instead of uh, getting a star. Go, whoa, that guy. What was that guy doing? I'm happy that something like this is made. I mean, I I I like Speedway. I like stuff like this. I like the like the dirt. Um, so kudos to these guys for making making the game. And it can't be easy. I just uh, there's just some minor things that you know the it doesn't have a lot of depth to it. It really just is all about the one season. It'd be cool if you had. 
your own, I don't know, your own team or whatever. I don't I don't know if that's, you know, people really want that. But it would be interesting. You know, you just run the one season or run a single race and that's really it. Gosh, it seems like the whole track has grip. Oh man, we, we killed him. Beat my record and everything. Um, so, like I said, you can see the the. That's kind of funny. The water truck was going around the track. It, it doesn't do a great job of explaining how to actually get the bike around the track. You've really got to initiate. And what I mean by that is you. See if I can explain it while I'm racing this time. We're going to keep everything the same. Heat 18. You've really got to start. And this track is going to be odd. For the simple fact that the turns are sharp. Straightaways long. So you've got to initiate the turn in kind of an odd spot. So like. I'm turning now. See how long it took to turn. Get the bike to actually initiate getting sideways. And turning now. See how it kind of leans over to the left. He's got to get all his weight over. It kind of kicks the back end out. And that's what get, helps get the tire spinning. Because he's putting his weight forward. It gets the weight off the back end. And then as he comes off the turn, he should be leaning back. Which helps put weight back on the rear tire. And that gets the traction. So I'm letting off. It's really not about letting off. It's more about the line. Finding the right spot to be on the track. See, there's the traction right there. Right there. Oh, oh, he's got a little little bit of run on me. Gonna get back underneath him. Oh, there's nothing there. I'm surprised. See if I can chop him off. So once again, he gets here, and now you start to initiate the turn. So if you happen to pick up this game and you're getting frustrated, you've got to really think way down the track. Huh. My guy got taken out at the end after he was celebrating. I'm going to skip to the semis. And we get our lane choice because we are a top point earner. I'm going to pick lane. Hmm. I'm going to pick lane. The white lane. Uh, we're going to change our tire again. That leaves us one for the... Yeah. That leaves us one if we make the final, which hopefully we will. And since we've been winning, I'm not changing any of my settings. All right. I'm going to leave them straight. RPM's up. Barely pull the clutch. And mediocre start. Try to go around the outside. The whole track should be good, so we need to get to the bottom. Chase the track as we're going. There we go underneath. Kind of booted that guy out of the way. It's a little on the forgiving side. I tell you what, you put it on simulation, though, and they really get after you for having any kind of contact. There was grip. Now there's no grip. Look at him pull away. Grip off the bottom, though. I've, I've got to get second. Got to get second. Come on, come on. Split the... Move this guy over. Oh. Uh-oh. Huh. Oh. Yeah, that was me that caused the collision. Oops. Sorry. That guy would be coming to beat my ass at this point. We gotta do it all over. But now we've got one less guy to compete with. Eh, this is okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, now I'm bouncing off the fence. He got away from me. There's a good part. Oh, now it's spinning. There's traction again. Turn. Oh, God. Dan, that's it. Well, we're all done. Because I caused a collision, which means... We're out. We are out. Yep, that puts us down in seventh, so... 
We can watch a heat. Show you what it's like to see. Basically, this was what would be a replay. Anyway, uh, thanks for taking a look at uh, the FIM Speedway Grand Prix 15 with me. Once again, kind of a niche game. Very interesting. Uh, I'm glad it's made. They get some money that they can improve on it. Maybe do another one in a year or two uh, if they still have the license. But, I mean, it's it's got, it's got officially licensed riders in it. Uh... You know, if you're a Speedway fan, you know, this is mainly, this is the European Championship. But if you're a Speedway fan, this is probably the best option you've got. <laughs>